The following is a paid program presented by Jersey Sports Zone and RWJ Barnabas Health. Coming up on Jersey Sports Zone, it's one of the best spectacles in all of high school sports. New Jersey High School Wrestling returns to Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. We've got all the excitement from the state finals. The hockey state semifinals brought overtime drama. Man, I, I don't want the season end like this. I knew it would do something special. We'll look back on the big moments from the final four. Twin sisters from Morris Catholic are making a name for themselves as freshmen on the New Jersey girls basketball scene. And we profile the next New Jersey Hoops standout on his way to Jay Wright and Villanova. Jersey Sports Zone is set to knock you over with all the big moments from this past week. I'm Rich Grampanis, and this is Jersey Sports Zone TV, presented by RWJ Barnabas Health. We are at the mecca of high school wrestling, Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. Boy, this is a special place. And Mike Frankel is down on the floor to recap the 2022 New Jersey State Wrestling Championships. Thanks, Rich. Yes, last year the action was up in Phillipsburg, but back home, so to speak, this year. Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, and those 14 matches under the bright lights did not disappoint. There's fireworks in the first bout of the day. Jimmy Mullen of St. Joe's Montvale works the cradle for a second period pinfall over Bergen Catholic's Dom Brogna. Mullen is now a two-time New Jersey State Champion at heavyweight. I mean, this, you pin someone and the whole place erupts into um, bright stars. It's, it's, it's insane. Like, I just don't know what to say. A Beast of the East rematch headlines the 132-pound final. Tyler Vasquez hits a textbook double leg takedown in the first period and holds on for a 2-1 win against Brick Memorial's Anthony Santanello. It's a wild ride in the 144-pound finale. There's back and forth action between Clearview's Ty Whalen and Booten's Joe Fongaro. Fongaro hits for two on the edge of the circle late in the third period to secure a 10-9 win in one of the most exciting bouts of the day. I wasn't wrestling Ty Whalen out there, I was wrestling myself. And I, if I beat myself, good things happen. Brian Saldano enters the 190-pound bout as the odds-on favorite. Saldano locks up an 11-3 win over North Bergen's Joshua Palacio. Saldano pinned in four out of five matches in AC to win the most outstanding wrestler award. More sad it's over. Yeah. <laughs> It's sad, it was how I ended my high school career with a high point singlet. So I'll never be able to strap my laces for a high point again. Here now with Ken Bradley. Ken, the action back in Atlantic City this year. Don't get me wrong, it was amazing last season in Phillipsburg, but things are just different here in Atlantic City. Yeah, Boardwalk Hall just has a different aura to it. The stands are filled. You got the one mat in the center. Big, big TV screen up top. It's just a great atmosphere. And a record attendance, I believe, this year. So fans excited to get back out here in Atlantic City. 14 matches under the lights, near 10,000 people watching each one. We were closely watching all of them. Which one's sticking out to you when this is all said and done? All great matches, Mike. Some of the ones that stuck out, obviously, Jimmy Mullen, a big guy like that that can move around, get in a pin. Talmadge pancake on the edge of the mat to win, I think it's about 10 seconds left, and then Fungaro and Whalen just throwing it all on the table, kitchen sink, that was amazing. So Ken, you don't want to play favorites, you don't want to say that we saved the best for last, they're all the best out there, but that final bout, PJ Casal versus Martin Cosgrove, both state champions, but both from two years ago, they both left it all out there in their senior seasons. Yeah, we didn't get to see either of them in the state championships last year at Phillipsburg, Amazing that we got to see them against each other this year. Cosgrove ended out winning the match, beautiful takedowns early. Some controversy maybe at the end, but congrats to Cosgrove, way to finish with a win. 
All right, that'll do it. That'll wrap things up for our Jersey Sports Zone wrestling coverage for the season. What a ride it's been. Let's bundle up. Let's head to the ice as we send it now to Jay Cook. Thanks, Mike. The non-public hockey state semifinals feature the four best teams in New Jersey. Let's take a look and see who punched their ticket to the finals at the Prudential Center next week. We kick it off with Don Bosco Prep and Del Barton, who are playing for the fourth time this season. Early first period, Bosco strikes. Kenny Coleman sends a screamer to the back of the net. His first goal of the year gives the Ironman an early lead. Later in the first, it's a 1-1 game, and Jack Olsen breaks the tie. The top shelf shot puts Del Barton in front with a 2-1 lead after a crazy first period. Jason Kai stepped up huge. His 28 saves would help preserve the lead as Del Barton punches their ticket to the rock. 2-1 is the final. The Green Wave get redemption after a tough loss to Bosco in the Gordon Cup semifinals. Just perseverance, you know, like losing the Gordon Cup, obviously that's not something you'd like to do. But, you know, this is the bigger stage and we came up big. In the other semi, CBA looking for an amazing 25th win facing Gloucester Catholic. The Rams came to play and gave the Colts a tussle. Matt Klonuski with the saucer pass to Ryan Tallarico, a beautiful setup and finish. At the end of one, Gloucester Catholic has a 1-0 lead. But CBA would outshoot the Rams 40-21. Aiden Guinness had a pair of goals. This snipe off the post gave CBA a 2-1 lead. Now tied at two in the third, Leighton Bicidecki in on a breakaway. He goes five hole. That's your game winner. CBA survives a scare and advances to Monday's state championship with a 3-2 win over Gloucester Catholic. Bicidecki and company are focused on the final mission at The Rock. You know, we've been thinking about this since the start of the season, so you know, every time times get tough, we just look at The Rock, we keep pushing, keep going. And uh, just a really positive locker room. The Colts are 26-0-3 and will take on Del Barton at the home of the New Jersey Devils for the non-public state championship. The public hockey semifinals saw plenty of overtime drama. We get started in Public C, where Morris Knowles in Verona went to sudden death, tied at two. Ryan Walter carries the puck into the zone, and his shot sends Knowles to the rock. Walter scored on opening night and now has scored in back-to-back -back games to put his team in the state championship game. Morris Knowles gets a 3-2 win in overtime. The Golden Eagles will face Governor Livingston on Monday for the Public C state title. But uh, I've always wanted to go there, playing in the Crew Center. I'm a Devils fan, so I've been there a ton of times. Uh, but I've never been able to actually play there, especially in a big game like that. So, so happy to be going there. Two Bergen County rivals meet in the Public B semifinals. Ramapo and Northern Highlands go to overtime, tied at two. That's when Will Fuller finds room and fires a backhand shot for the game winner. The Highlanders score three straight goals in a come from behind 3-2 win to secure their spot in the Public B state championship game. Getting those two goals scored against us doesn't happen that often, and it was honestly kind of a shock to the team. But we knew that if we played uh, our game, we'd be able to get the job done. The other Public B semifinal was an instant classic. Rumson Fairhaven had a 3-1 lead on short conference rival Middletown North when the Lions' Jace Koenigsmark scored two goals in the final 99 seconds to stage an unthinkable comeback. Koenig's Mark's heroics send us to overtime, tied at three. In OT, the Bulldogs thought they had the game winner. Brett Pritchard puts the puck in the net, but the referee is right on top of it and immediately makes the no-goal call. We zoom in and show it again. RFH is mere inches from winning, but you can see the net come off before the puck crosses the line. No goal is the call, and Pritchard is in disbelief. A trip to the Rock was ultimately decided by a shootout. North goalie Luke Krizan made two key stops and Colin Delonzo sealed a 4-1 shootout win and a 4-3 victory for Middletown North, who reaches the state championship game for the second time in school history. When we were down 3-1 with a minute 40 left, I was on the bench right before we took the timeout. I was like, 
man, I, I don't want the season to end like this. I knew I had to do something special. JSZ will have full coverage of all five state championship games this Monday at the Prudential Center in Newark. Time to step away. When we come back, we'll meet the twin sisters who are making an immediate impact on New Jersey girls basketball as freshmen. Our story on the Paldo twins is on the way. Plus, all of the best wrestlers from all over the state in Atlantic City this weekend. We've collected the best plays from all over the state. It's coming up in our weekly Jersey Sports Zone Top 10 list. Stick around, that's on the way. Hey, I'm Jason Kai with Del Barn, and you're watching Jersey Sports Zone. <laughs> I'm the director of the Cancer Center, designated by the National Cancer Institute. We are here to make an important distinction. There are cancer centers. And there are NCI-designated cancer centers. Recognized for world-class research. And positive impact on their communities. No single person is going to cure cancer. It'll take a team effort. That's what an NCI-designated cancer center is all about. In New Jersey, there's only one. Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey, together with RWJ Barnabas Health. The Road to Success program helps prepare and accelerate your career trajectory to a Wall Street career. People in my generation really want to be building their own companies and really taking ownership over the work that they do. The Road to Silicon Valley program allows students to really make their dreams a reality. You have the perspective like mine, born and raised in an urban community, but you also have a perspective who had a parent in Wall Street, and it's not necessarily about how you get to the opportunity, it's what you do with it. It's really nice to be in a situation in a place where there are very good people who take good care of people. Orthopedics is about, it's not about saving lives, it's about saving quality of life. A lot of people, we live high stress lives, so if you tell someone they can't do something for whatever reason, that's pretty traumatic. I really take pride in trying to be empathetic and trying to put myself in every patient's shoes. I want to take care of people like I'd want to take care of my family. And I think that when you do that and give somebody that family feeling and give them your honest opinion for what you would do, they value that. It's time for JSE's Recruiting Roundup, presented by Ocean First Bank. What's going on everyone? Nary Rodriguez here for the JSE Recruiting Roundup. This week's athlete is a girls hoop star bound for Chapel Hill. Is UNC ready for Paulina Paris? The 5'8 Saddle River Day point guard is known for making quick decisions on the basketball court, but when it came to choosing where to continue her playing career, Paris with offers from the likes of USC, Penn State, and Indiana State patient and chose the University of North Carolina. Having just led the Rebels to a six straight Bergen County tournament title, the senior will see if she can add more hardware to the trophy case with state postseason play officially kicking off in the Garden State. This recruiting roundup is brought to you by Ocean First Bank. Ready to bank whenever and wherever? We've got you covered. It doesn't take long to start seeing double when opponents step on the floor with Morris Catholic. The combination of Mia and Maya Paldo has lifted the Crusaders to new heights in 2022. Special. I mean, they've impacted our team in ways that nobody ever could. They're known as the twin backcourt. These two 16-year-old freshman twin sisters from Patterson have taken the New Jersey basketball world by storm in a matter of months. Mia and Maya Paldo are the next generation of breakthrough Jersey Hoopers. It's cool. I mean, ain't, ain't nothing more to, like ain't nothing more to say. Like we're here, we're doing it. It's really exciting, and we're loving. We're we're enjoying the moment. We're enjoying it all. We're still young and we're still getting better, so, you know, it's not really tough at all. We're just, we just know to get better and everything's going to come to us. Let's break it down. Mia and Maya, a true package deal, earned over a dozen Power 5 offers before ever scoring a varsity basket. They're both stars in the uber-competitive AAU world who have produced for years. It's good to see them on the high school level and in New Jersey high school scene and see them just perform the way they have. I mean, we put the work in for years. So this is what we've expected. We've expected this type of uh, performance. Following an opening day loss to top-ranked St. John Vianney, Morris Catholic rattled off 23 consecutive wins and won the program's first Morris County title since 2016. Mia is the team's leading scorer with over 500 points and four triple-doubles to her name. 
Mia does it and it's very loud. You know, you see it and it's very obvious. Maya averages 16, five and five a game using her skill set. Maya, you know, she kind of creeps up on you. She's a power player. So, you know, she kind of fills up the stat sheet as well. They both do it. They do it in different ways. Leadership, communication, also our mid-range pull-ups. Um, we do everything, like, you know, get to the rack, control our bodies, play defense, get steals, grab rebounds, assist, share the ball. That's what we do. We're all-around players. So why Morris Catholic? DJ Paldo and head coach Billy Lovett have known each other for years. Their basketball relationship is the reason Mia and Maya commute 45 minutes each way from Patterson to Denville daily. The girls have parlayed their success so far in various other ways. The TBC brand could be a precursor for how young high school athletes benefit from their name, image, and likeness. Mia and Maya are both firmly entrenched among the top freshmen in the nation. Ask anyone around them, and they'll say the ceiling is limitless. Uh, you're looking at two potential McDonald's All-Americans. Um, you know, you're watching what high-level high school basketball players are like. There's, you know, we understand they're freshmen, but there's a reason why they're ranked as high as they are in the country. Um, so I, I don't think that there's going to be anything different over the next couple of years because they work so hard and they have such a tremendous work ethic. It's great. It's great. Everybody doesn't know what's, what's coming. Everybody doesn't know what's coming, but me and my team and the coaches do. So this is that's the exciting part, so proving everybody wrong and, uh, you know, just playing our game, having fun. With Jay Cook, I'm Mike Frankel, JerseySportsZone.com. Time to step away. When we come back, we'll profile a future Villanova Wildcat who made history at St. Peter's Prep. That's when Jersey Sports Zone continues. This is Denver Anglin from Gill St. Bernard's, and you're watching Jersey Sports Zone. RWJ Barnabas Health has a passion for heart health with the most comprehensive services, including the state's largest adult and pediatric cardiac surgery programs, a heart transplant program that's top 10 nationally, a partnership with Rutgers Health, the latest technology and medical advancements and nationally renowned care for every heart in every community. Whoever your heart beats for, our hearts beat for you. RWJ Barnabas Health. Max always dreamed of having nice things, but first he needed to find the path to financial success, starting with the right banking partner, one that has a trusted history with customers and the community, the latest technology, but still knows him by name. Then Max found Ocean First Bank. They're making his dreams come to life. Ocean First Bank. Putting you first. Member of DIC, Equal Housing Opportunity Lender. What does it take to break records? For Mark Armstrong, the answer has to do with staying the course. To be honest, when I came as a freshman, I didn't even know I was going to start, to be honest. So once I like started like playing, coach uh, trusted me and put me in the starting lineup. The combo guard who stars at St. Peter's Prep put his head down and grinded for four years. All that work resulted in arguably the greatest career ever at St. Peter's. At a school with 150 years of history, Armstrong broke the program's all-time scoring record on February 26th. By my like sophomore year, I want to say I know I was going to be a thousand-point scorer, but I didn't know I was going to get to there. Even after the COVID year, even like halfway through this season, I didn't even know I was going to get it there. The record is now at 1,757 points and counting. He could have blown by that number if not for a COVID-shortened season a year ago. Yeah, I think he would have definitely reached 2,000 points if we didn't have uh, the shutdown sort of last year. And so you think about 15 to 16 more games and the average he has now, he definitely would have had 2,000 points. Armstrong's game, along with his athleticism, has evolved each year. He has a full repertoire at his disposal. The steals, sky-high dunks, and the lightning-fast speed are a perfect complement to his sharpshooter touch and ability to hit shots from all over the floor. So athletically, he's evolved to probably like the most athletic player in the state and arguably one of the most athletic players in the country. 
when I just like started working out, being consistent, it just I just enhanced it even more. And like thanks to my trainers, Coach Phil and AS3 Athletics, uh, Coach Al Smith, Al Smith, he they both did a great job with my body, and it's just we're gonna keep working. By all accounts, Mark Armstrong is the clear-cut top-ranked senior player in New Jersey. He's bringing all that talent to Villanova next year to play for head coach Jay Wright. It's another chance for Armstrong to prove that he belongs with some of the best at the next level. Basically, uh, come in, uh, be open-minded, uh, ready to work. I know nothing's going to be given to me when I get come in in that situation. So I have to come in and be humble enough to accept criticism, even though I did all this in high school. He's not afraid to jump with anybody. And that's, that's one of the things that he's uh, improved on, just to challenge the other opponent and, and be fearless. St. Peter's Prep's season is still alive after defeating rival Hudson Catholic on Friday night. Armstrong still has plenty of unfinished business to get to in the playoffs. I want to say I feel like I have a little bit more to give. Uh, the job is not finished. Me and Coach was talking about it before practice today that um, we have a lot more to do. We have a lot more to gain. And this team then still reach its full potential. Reporting from Jersey City, I'm Jay Cook with Jersey Sports Zone. Com. Time for one more break. When we come back, it's the best plays of the week, Jersey Sports Zone style. We've got another great batch of JSE top plays. I'm the director of the Cancer Center, designated by the National Cancer Institute. We are here to make an important distinction. There are cancer centers. And there are NCI-designated cancer centers. Recognized for world-class research. And positive impact on their communities. No single person is going to cure cancer. It'll take a team effort. That's what an NCI-designated cancer center is all about. In New Jersey, there's only one. Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey, together with RWJ Barnabas Health. We go into the JSE archives for a blast from the past, brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. Hey everyone, I'm James Mooney with you for another trip down memory lane right here in Atlantic City. The New Jersey State Wrestling Tournament is often referred to as one of the toughest in the country. Back in 2020, Jay Cook got a first-hand look at the toughness it takes to win a state title from Bergen Catholic's Robert Howard. 12-7 is the final over Mackenzie Bell. Howard ran the table and didn't lose a single match from the District 7 quarterfinals to here at Boardwalk Hall. His senior season ride came with plenty of bumps. Howard lost a beloved uncle during the season and battled through writhing pain to emerge as a champion. I don't know, I got, I got two tears in my shoulder. I, you know, my mom is freaking out like, you're not wrestling, you're not wrestling, all this stuff. I'm not wrestling, and I'm gonna win. It's been a battle, man. It's been a battle with myself, my brain. You start to doubt yourself and you know you see everyone else doubting you. And, and I just remembered who I am. Blast from the Past is brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates, a proud sponsor of Jersey Sports Zone for the last five years. I'm Mike Frankel back here in Atlantic City. Well, it's the moment you've all been waiting for, the best plays of the week. Without further ado, here it is, the Jersey Sports Zone top 10 list. Number 10. Then moments later, Simpson comes up with the steal. You know where this highlight is headed. Simpson throws down the dunk. Derek Simpson can flat out fly. He adds 12 points as Lenape wins it going away. Number nine. Rumson takes control of the game in the second. Braden Spagnola with a big time move. He circles back, he shoots and scores. He takes the lick, but it's all smiles. Spagnola with a beauty. Rumson Fairhaven takes a 2-0 lead. Number eight. The Renegades battle back early in the fourth. Off of the steal, it's ball to Matt Fish. Alley-oop to ball for the flush. Shawnee pulls back within three. Number seven. Ray Cartigiano is absolutely robbed by Billy Stusky. Wow! The Gloucester goalie was peppered with shots and played sensational. Take another look. This is one of the best saves we've seen this year. Number six. The Lions would get the puck back into the zone, pull the goalie again, and Koenigsmark is on the mark again. 
an incredible turn of events. Middletown North season appeared over, but two goals by Jace Koenigsmark in a 64 second span turns the tide. Number five. Will Fuller handles the pass and heads to the zone. Fuller from the slot, fires a backhander for the win. Northern Highlands comes from behind to capture a heart pounding victory in overtime. Number four. Morris Knowles Jr. Ryan Walter, known more for his defense, had just two goals the entire season coming in. Well, don't tell him that. Walter, from a different county, NOT, that's how you send your team to a state championship. 3-2 your final. Morris Knowles, you are heading to the Public C final. Number three. Last chance for Sterling. Jadis McFadden drives, but he is blocked by Mooney, and Haddonfield punches their ticket to its fifth straight sectional final. 26-25 is your final. Number two. Millville down three with eight seconds left. Smith hits the first free throw, then misses the second. Jaden Merrill gets the rebound. Out to Barriento for three. Jabbar Barriento sinks it. The clutch three ties the game at 53. Timeout Braves. I just really wanted this win. And the number one play of the week. Lucas Campos on for South. He skates wide, and Jason Larico turns him away. What a finish. Hillsboro outlasts Middletown South for a staggering 10 round shootout to win and advance to the state semifinals. And that'll do it for this week's edition of Jersey Sports Zone. Coming up next week, some more state championship flavor. This time on the ice, we'll be at the Prudential Center to break down the hockey state finals. We leave you with all the great sounds and images from Atlantic City and the 2022 New Jersey Wrestling Championships. We'll see you next week. RWJ Barnabas Health has a passion for heart health with the most comprehensive services, including the state's largest adult and pediatric cardiac surgery programs, a heart transplant program that's top 10 nationally, a partnership with Rutgers Health, the latest technology and medical advancements, and nationally renowned care for every heart in every community. Whoever your heart beats for, our hearts beat for you. RWJ Barnabas Health. Promotional consideration paid for by the following. The proceeding was a paid program presented by Jersey Sports Zone and RWJ Barnabas Health.